Okay guys, so in a previous video, I created an ebook using Google Docs and Canva. So now in this video, I want to show you how to easily create an ebook using only Canva. Hey guys, my name is Dawn Marie and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I'm documenting my journey of starting a digital product business from scratch. So I'm sharing with you everything that I get up to from designing the website, coming up with the product idea, where I'm going to find people to know more about myself, my business and my product, as well as I'm sharing my mistakes as well. So I'm giving you the raw and transparent behind the scenes overview of what it's like to build this digital product business from scratch. So if that's something that interests you, then I would love if you subscribe to the channel. And if you are coming back again, then welcome back. Now, before I get started, I want to share with you my 10 day action plan for launching a digital product. This 10 day action plan will take you through everything you need to do within the next 10 days to put together your digital product, sell and fulfill it. No guesswork needed. So I'm telling you what to do, when and how, so you can perhaps launch your own digital product and hopefully in time for Christmas. Okay, so are you ready to create an ebook using Canva? Let's head on to the video right now. Okay, guys, so in my previous video, I showed you how I created step by step this ebook using Google Docs and Canva. I'll make sure to link it in the description box below. Now I want to show you how I'm going to recreate this ebook using Canva only. Now, before I create an ebook, I like having all my content planned out and written out like I have done here. So all I'm going to do is just simply copy and paste this text into my new Canva ebook. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to head on over to Canva, then create a design. And I'm going to search for A4 as the size of my document. Once that is opened, I'm going to create my first page, which is my ebook cover. And I'm going to come here in the search bar on the left hand side and I'm simply going to type ebook cover. That will give me a pre selection of all of Canva's ebook cover templates. And you can see that they give, give you an amazing selection of ebook cover ideas that all you need to do is simply choose the one that you want and then click on it and it will move the ebook cover onto the canvas. Now, the good thing about Canva is they also give you other pages within the ebook. That just shows you how simple it is to create your own ebook using Canva. But of course, we're going to do this from scratch. Now, with this canvas, you can see that there are a few elements on here. So there's this swirl pattern. There's also the shape behind the swirl that you can actually click on it move these the elements around so that you customize the page the way you want it. I'm going to first change a few colors to my brand colors. So I'm going to select the shape, then I'm going to come up here to the color palette and I click on it and you will see that I also have the color palette for my brand. And this color palette can be easily found in Canva's home page menu. So I give, if I go to the home page under tools and I click on brand, this is where you will be able to upload all your brand logos, add your colors, and also any brand fonts. Now, this is only available on the pro version of Canva. So I have my color here, and I think I'm going to choose this color, and I'm going to change all because I want to change all the colors at the same time. Perfect. So it seems as though this color is a bit dull, so it's more than likely either hidden behind a, an element or I'm going to check to see perhaps the transparency is reduced. So I'm just going to increase the transparency there and also I'm going to do the same for this one. Next for the swirls, I'm going to select them. I'm just going to bring this one back to the front and I'm going to put the swirls in a different color change all so it will apply to this swirl as well and I want the background of my ebook to be white so I'm going to remove that color. Next I want to change the headline so again you can see how I'm easily customizing this again using my brand font. I can also resize the 
headline either using the arrow or I can use the font size indicator up here. I'm just going to delete these items because I don't want it. But if you want, you can always add whatever customizations you want. I'm also going to add my name here. And I'm going to bring my title forward using the position. Okay, perfect. Next thing I want to do is I want to change the image of this. Perhaps I would make it a little larger. And I'm going to change the actual image by deleting what's inside of it. It will take me to the image frame. I can go to photos and then select an image from the options that Canva has given to me. Again, you can use the search feature up here. I'm going to search for flat lay and then select one of the images that I want to use on my canvas. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to do is add eight pages, which will be for a combination of my table of content pages, my content pages, as well as my call to action pages. Now, look how easy this is going to be, guys. First, I'm going to add a page. I'm going to add my logo. Again, you can upload your own logo using Canvas Brand Kit. And I'm also going to add a footer. To add the footer, I go to text. And again, I can resize my text either using the arrow here or using the, L, the font size element up here. Now you will see that this page is actually um, quite small. And it's the reason that it's small is because it's quite zoomed in at 30%. If I want to see the original size, I can always increase the zoom size to 100%. But I want to have it at a small frame so that I can actually see what it looks like. Now I will duplicate this single page for my five content pages. So I click on this icon here, which means to copy or duplicate. I'm going to scroll back up because I now want to add my terms and conditions page. And I will use this icon here, which simply means to add a page. Then I will do the same at the bottom for my call to action page. And you will see that when you use this icon, you do not, it doesn't duplicate the page before, but it simply adds a blank page. If you want to duplicate the page that was before, you would use this icon. So here is my term table of contents page. And instead of creating one from scratch, I want to see what Canva has to offer. So again, I go to the design menu at the top. And let's click in the search bar and type in table of contents. So there are several options that you can choose from if you want to add a table of content to have it as a design, one of Canvas designs. I'm simply going to choose this one here. Then I'm going to quickly edit it so that it matches this example here. First, I'm going to change this, this, these circles to my brand colors. And then I'm going to change the titles also so that it matches what I have here. Okay, that looks great just as I want. Then onto my call to action page at the bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now, you can either build this page from scratch or you can use search terms like uh, download or contact us if you want to add a page with details on how the user can contact you or additional links for them to download. Now, what I like to do for this page is simply use a color block. And 
and then add a button, which will be my call to action button. And I'm going to use the rectangle element or the square element. And I can change the color of that. And then I'm, I can always add my what's next text. So I go to text here and I select a text block. I'm going to copy the text from here. And paste it here. So let's resize this, align it to the left. and then position it the way I want to. I also want to make this text white because it doesn't quite stand out against the blue. And the what's next, I'm going to make a little bit bold. Okay, so this call to action page is looking great. And I also have my table of contents page. Now I have the bare pages for my ebook and all I want to do is add my content pages. And this is where Canva is very different from Google Docs because you can really make your ebook pretty by using different images to help your pages have structure and to make it easy to navigate and read. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply add my content, fill in my content here on these pages. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to add images to them. So to add the content, I'm going to use a text block. I'm going to extend it like that, position the text to the right. And I'm also going to perhaps make this size 12. Perfect. So I now have my content pages. And this is how I'm going to add images to break up this text. Now, you don't have to do this, but this is just a nice little touch that you can add to your ebook just to make it look a little bit more attractive for your reader. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to first copy this page, duplicate it, because the image that I want to add is going to replace this section of the text. So, I'm going, just going to select which text that I want to remove. So then on my second page, I know that I have removed all of this text below here. So I'm going to keep this text for the second page and then remove the, te the text at the, bot at the top. Now let's add in a few images. So I go to photos. You can choose whichever photos you want to add. Okay, so my first set of images are added. Now I'm going to add the rest. Okay, so this is the end result of the images that I added. So you can see now how the text is broken up and there's a little bit of aesthetics to the ebook with these additional images through them. Now I just want to go back and I want to tidy up my table of contents. So I want to make sure that it aligns to the pages, to the respective pages. Okay, so my table of contents is all tidied up. And if you want, you could go an extra step by adding your own table of contents to these pages. So this is what I would do. I would come to elements and then add a square. And I'll put that square at the bottom. I would change the color. Then I'm going to look at the specific page number up here, and I'm going to add that to this section here. So I will add a text box, and this will be page two, and I put it like that. I will hold down the box, and whilst holding shift, I will also hold the number sign. I can either group this to make it easy to copy, then I'm going to control C on um, a Windows keyboard and I'm going to paste it onto each page. 
So now I can easily change the page numbers like this. And that's it. So I have my page numbers in place. Now I can download my ebook by clicking on share. And if you want to share the ebook with a simple link, you can do so by copying the link and whomever has access to a Canva account will be able to see the ebook with a Canva account or simply online itself without a Canva account, or you can also download the ebook. What I would recommend is that when you are selecting the file type, you select PDF standard. Make sure that you select all pages and you click to download. So this is what my ebook looks like from Canva. And this is the one that I created in Google Docs. So now I can upload my ebooks to my hosting platform where someone can download it if they opt in or purchase. Let me know which one you like in the comments, whether Google Docs or Canva ebook. Okay, guys, so that's how I create an ebook using Canva. See you in my next video and make sure you turn on that notification so you will know when I post. Bye now.